My mom and I often swap stories about rural life in the southern United States and in Africa. Mom spent much of her childhood on a farm in Louisiana. I've spent much of my adulthood working in farming communities all over Africa. Living in rural communities means living with the natural world and all of its creatures. Well, Maggie was wonderful. She looked very, I looked very much like Maggie. She was my dad's mother. Mm -hmm. I looked more like my dad and like his side of the family. I looked very much like Maggie. Uh -huh. But she wanted me to pray in the fields all the time. There were snakes in there. A snake kind of snake called a coach whip, which would stand on his tail and whistle. My dad told the story of how this snake, a snake, a coach whip, he and my mother were out in the fields, and a coach whip stood up whistling, and the coach whip was so close to my mother that he slapped my mother first the opposite direction, mm -hmm. and she fell down to save her from the coach whip. Mm -hmm. uh, so those snakes were all in the field, and my grandmother wanted me to go out and pray. She in the field? just go out there and pray, because she was very religious. Why would she want you to go pray in the field? Well, that's just the southern way. You go find God out there and you pray. <laughs> How old were you? I, I was young. I probably was seven or eight, and I wouldn't go out there. Mm -hmm. So I just wouldn't go. And she never did anything to me. She wouldn't go. And they had outdoor toilets. And once, uh, my grandmother, Maggie, the same one who wanted me to go out and pray, went to the toilet at night, you know, the outdoor toilet. Fortunately for her, she didn't sit down because there was a snake on the seat. Did you ever hear that <laughs> happening in Africa? Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh-huh. And once somebody on the same farm was walking to go wash clothes in the stream because they had a really fast stream where they got their drinking water and sometimes would wash their clothes there because they carried things on their head in, mm -hmm. in, in uh, Ringo, mm -hmm. the country because they had to take their clothes to the stream. Mm -hmm. And as she passed the tree, a uh, uh, wildcat, whatever they call them, jumped down, and the noise of hitting the wash tub, which was on her head, scared him, and he ran away. Otherwise, she'd be dead. She was lucky. And that was Maggie, or who was that? No, that was not another relative. That wasn't Maggie. Huh. Coach whips and wildcats. You might meet them when you're praying in the field. You might meet them when you're heading to the outhouse. And you might meet them when you're on your way to the river with a bucket on your head. 